Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. I sent Sam and Sophie out today to try and find some Easter stuff for Gabby. We, Sam, um, they also went out to buy stuff for Easter dinner, which is super exciting. So Gabby sent me a list yesterday of the things that she wants, and I can't get them. Did you get the at least one thing? All right, so show them what we're gonna give her for Easter. Okay, but first. I gave Sophie my, my debit card and said, go pick out some stuff for Gabby. What'd we get? First of all, we got there early, so we went to the vending machine. I mean, the claw machine, and we got some ducks. <laughs> Oh, that sounds interesting. Yeah. Two and one. Yeah, one go. Oh, and so you it was go. play till you win, and Dad had to win it for me. Okay. So first, I have to have this stuff. So this is what she asked for for Easter. How much was it? That was thirteen something. Oh, that's really cheap. Yeah. And then we got the other. Oh, that she. These are both the things that she asked for. So Gabby and Sylvia are both really big on skincare, believe it or not. And that was. And these are the things that she asked for specifically. That was $51. Oh, that's $51. Skincare is not cheap. So good. I'm so glad. I got the spread. Did you get some perfume for her? No. How much was the perfume? That was 30. 32. Oh, well, I feel bad that Gabby didn't get some perfume. but. Well, and because we signed her up. And because I, he signed me up, I got your stuff for free. Oh, so that's cool. Oh. Right, and you when you get points. You Why didn't you sell him Gabby up so she I could get know, it? I wasn't thinking that the time. Oh well. I didn't know if you could do that. So it definitely is weird that Sophie knows what she got for her Easter in, knows some of the things that she got in her Easter basket, yeah. but that's just the way it is. When you have teenagers, I find like buying them stuff is just a waste of money. Letting them choose the things that they want. It just works out so much better. So Sophie got all this stuff for free, like all these tr uh, sample things hair and shampoo oil. and conditioner and hair oil. Uh, wow, that's really shampoo cool. So anyways, all that stuff will go in their Easter basket. Gabby will be surprised at her stuff. And now that Sophie has all this stuff, Breaking I have to go powder. back and get more stuff <laughs> for Gabby because that's and not fair. All right, put it all back in the, bas um, the box. I think that my kids are a little bit old for Easter stuff, but it's something that Sam and I like to do with them or for them, so it is what it is. I'm gonna show you guys how I get little piggy in and out of the house now. So I take a whole handful of treats. The problem is is that Ellie also thinks that she's a piggy. So, oh my gosh. Honestly, <laughs> come here piggy. Come on, we're going over here. Ellie, don't eat them. She's kind of getting the hang of it now, so I did it the first day, and she's kind of understanding. She's, she's kind of understanding that this means that we're going outside. It's definitely kind of difficult when you have more than one animal. Yay, we did it! So it's supposed to be warm today. It's still pretty chilly, but I have a plan. So my grandkids are coming this weekend. It's Easter weekend here and I'm excited. Come here, little piggy. So I just throw treats for her <laughs> to get her to follow me and to get her to go where I want her to go. Em and I have been buying secondhand toys so that I can set up like a little area for my grandkids when they come especially for Jacob he wants to be outside when he comes he wants to be playing and I'm always out here with him I want him to have some place that he can go out and like play and then I have younger grandkids than him so I want to just set up an area that they have when they're here he's peeing <laughs> Anyway, so I've been trying to figure out where I'm going to put this area and then I realized I have this little this little place here that I don't do anything with. So then I started thinking like if Sam fenced the sides of this in, this would be such like a little whoops. This would be such a fun little playhouse for them for him. I'd have to close this off. This is like a uh little hut to hang your laundry up but oh and there's my pig <laughs> don't run away pig <laughs> 
Anyways, um, I think that I could set this up as like a little playhouse for the girls and I don't know. I think Jacob, I think that they would really like it in here. It's like out of the wind and out of the weather and they could play in here. So I'm excited to do that, but I need it to be warm out, at least a little bit warm out so that I can do it. And I, I want to get it kind of done before the weekend, but I don't know if that's going to happen. So what made me decide on this is that the entire yard is kind of on a hill and there's no good spots to set up play stuff for kids. Whoa, come here, piggy. <laughs> come on. Come here, piggy, 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 piggy. Come on. Except for this area over here. It's kind of shaded from this little house and it's kind of a little bit flat. So I'm gonna try and make, or maybe even not this area, but maybe this area over here. I don't know. This area over here is actually even better. So I'll get Sam to move that thing. And then maybe I'll make, yeah, this will be like our play area or their play area. So that's something that's on my list of things to do. But I really need, <laughs> Ellie, don't be rough. But I really need some warm weather to get it done. I also, really want to clean the horse paddock and clean the stalls that the goats live in and I have seriously so many projects that I want to do just to make our farm clean and fresh <laughs> after a long winter but I just have to wait hopefully I can get some stuff started this afternoon it's freezing outside I can tell the temperature from looking at my cameras and seeing what the horses are doing if they're laying in the sun and if the goats are laying in the sun then I'm pretty sure it's cold it's cold outside if it's supposed to get warm this afternoon and I'm counting on it but little posy pig is really enjoying being outside and exploring the property see if I can show you her new trick posy <laughs> good job okay okay sit sit no you have to sit sit Sit. Good girl. Put your bum on the ground. Ellie is a little jealous. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Okay, now up. Look. Posey. Up. Up. Watch. Right, she'll jump. Come here. Up. Up. <laughs> up. Up. Come on. You can do it. Up. You know how to do it. <laughs> She's like, I don't know how to do it. Up. Up. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> she jumps up in the house and I don't think that she knows sit as in put her bum down she thinks it's stretching her nose to the sky anyway so do you see that she doesn't want me to pet her right now because she has other things she wants to do and she's very good at telling me what she wants and what she doesn't want <laughs> but her and Ellie together are a riot running around outside <laughs> Once summer gets here, honestly, I just think Posey and, and Ellie will be unstoppable together. I'm excited to see them together. All right, let's go inside, little Miss Pig. Come on. Come on, Piggy, 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 Piggy. Oh, <laughs> come on, little Piggy, come on. Come on. Oh, gosh. This is the problem that I have. Once I get her in, the dogs all come running. Come on, Ellie especially Ellie, and then it scares her, so she runs back out. But if I, oh, see, that's the problem. Come on, look. Come on. And then Ellie eats her treats, that's another problem. You can do it, little pig. Come on. Come on. Yay! I've actually been super successful taking her out to go to the potty like four times now like that. I want her to learn to run in and out on her own. We made it through winter, so good. But now that it's supposed to be spring, I can't do it anymore. I, I can't handle it. I just wanna, uh, uh, there's so many things. And uh, there are people out there that can go out and work in the freezing cold. I'm not one of them. I thought the goats were in this field today. I know, I couldn't. I've been watching the cameras, can't see the goat, so we're here to check on him. It's so windy that the door just blew right out of my hand. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. No wonder they're all here. They're like, help, it's freezing. Is anybody shaking? Is that little guy shaking? Stop being mean to my goat. But anyway, 
while we're down here, I wanted to tell you about my goat. I freaking love her. Like, Sophie says, why did you buy her? She's, She's the same. She's the same as Lola, short and fat. She's already taught me so much. She's already taught me so much. And basically, when we got Lola, Lola was a hard baby. I didn't even realize how hard of a baby she was. I just thought that that's what goats were like. But she's actually so good. Like, she doesn't scream all day like Lola did. And thank God, because she has a horrible scream. Hey! This thing looks exactly like her. Let's see. No, he is way cuter. He is like... Chill out. Absolutely, stunningly cuter than her. He's like, I want to eat your hair. Because even though I love the white on her head, that white on her head makes her look like she has a flat head. It's so weird. It is just freezing down here. All right, so Sam's here. Sam the farmer man. And he is going to reposition our camera system. Basically, we that's the wind, you guys. Basically, we need more camera systems. I want to be able to see as many stalls as possible. Blossom! This is annoying! <laughs> anyway, about my goat. She is brave as heck. I love that in a, in a person and in a goat. Like, I love confident, quirky, funny, weird so people. They're like, yeah, like Winston. Is that who's climbing on my back? Yes. I love her. She's fitting in so nicely and someone so kindly said, let her grow, grow her up, raise her up and see how she grows. You never know what will happen. And her mom and, oh, her mom for sure is a normal size. Yeah, he's a really cute if boy too. If he was too. a girl, I would keep him, but he's not. I'm being attacked <laughs> and it's Winston. Get off. Get off. <laughs> oh. Do you have your phone with you? No. I do like her a lot. I think she's like kind of funny looking. One thing you guys don't know about goats, this is insane. If you're holding a goat and somebody else has a grudge with that, get away from my hair. Oh my God. They don't do it for me. I don't know. And if somebody else is holding a goat and they don't like that goat, they will ram you. I have been rammed more times this last week. I haven't. <laughs> I don't get rammed. It's only you. Yeah, it's only me. They just ram me and eat my hair. But I've been rammed by horns because I'm holding a, a goat that <laughs> is not that goat's baby. He's actually so cute though. Look <laughs> at his little deformed horns. Don't you think he's really cute? A little that chubby? Yeah. He is. But he's chubby but cute actually, no it's freezing it's actually ooh, it's actually freezing out here i feel bad for these little goats that's why they sit right there in the sun <laughs> listen winston <laughs> i don't want you near me actually, it's really warm right here yeah i should go out there yeah it's warmer well it's still really cold with the wind it's awful i don't know why they don't jump on those things what are they headbutting i think it's because it's too cold to be out there what is hershey and harley uh-oh mm -mm. what are they eating the goats make me happy so when I get feeling sad and depressed because I can't get any of the things done that I want to get done because that's so cold you can't even come outside <laughs> then they make me happy. You know what, if Harley's laying down and someone's annoying him and like chewing on his ear he will yell at them. Oh, I love the triplets they're my favorite. Can goats eat corn? That's like the corn thing goes out and eat corn on it. I can't even be out here, it's so cold. I think you can try it there because you can see that stall, that stall, this stall, and you might be able to turn it. Alright, well, we'll try it there and see what we can do. But I want to be able to see as many stalls as possible. We don't do birthing again. We don't have any goats due until May. What? Well, the thing here, I might just do it all the way along. I know, I would love another like one of another those. Roof like this. Yeah, I would love that. But it would be lower. But like... I like it that high. Well, it's be, like really hot in this spot when this the sun comes up to there. Like the other side is. You know, the other side. Yeah, I would love it because this is the area where our boys are going to be until they move to their new home. We gotta baby proof this area. Yeah, we have, to, yeah. we have to... Yeah. We have to baby here. proof it first. What? Something that's going to the gate. Yeah. So I, I would love that. I would love that to have like another one of those. Or if I just do around this door. Yeah, fix that door. Yeah, we need, we, there's a lot that we want to fix soon. Great. Sophie wants to explore this. 
thing. It's this giant hole <laughs> underneath this deck. She, she brings a flashlight. It doesn't work. Oh. Not here, <laughs> yeah. I'm happy not knowing what's underneath there. Don't you know that you're beautiful?